Monsoons do not deter the flow of festivals here. Some of the temple festivals in Kerala are held during this time, like the famous Ochirakali. This is Karkedaka Vavubali, or the new moon day in the month of Karkedakam on the Malayalam calendar. On this day, thousands of people all over Kerala make ritualistic offerings to their dead ancestors. Invariably every year, it rains on this day, and often the rituals are performed in heavy rain. It seems as though the heavens shower all their blessings in the spiritual communion of the dead and the living. Sometimes, nature's blessing becomes a bane. Rivers flood the land, the sea drowns the shores, and one witnesses the wilder side of the monsoons. The dance of the rains becomes the dance of destruction. But even then, life continues, maybe with a touch of stoicism. The philosophy of life here is that the ebb and flows of joys and sorrows is part and parcel of what living is all about. Like time and tide, it neither waits for nor is contained by anyone. The popular proverb sums it all up. If waters rise above the roof, float your raft above it. Monsoon is a time of plenitude for the fisher folk of Kerala. Large shoals of fish appear near the coastal belts and the Arabian Sea yields her share of nature's bounties. The huts and shanties of the fisher folk echo with the joys of a monsoon harvest.
The great ancient Indian poet Kalidasa compared the rolling dark clouds on the horizon to hordes of majestic elephants playfully digging their long tusks into the earth. For pachyderm lovers, monsoon season is the best time to visit Kerala. Hundreds of elephants are tamed and reared in many parts of the state. Rains are greatly enjoyed by the mammoth mammals. Exclusive festivals for elephants are held in some parts of Kerala during monsoon season. A ritual feeding of the elephants called Aneyuttu is held in many temples. Rejuvenation therapy is administered for domesticated elephants at the time and they are also given herbal concoctions and preparations. As nature recoups with the rains, it is rejuvenation time for humans too. Through the scientific system of herbal therapy, the body is purified of all the toxins. This mode of Panchakarma treatment is part of Kerala's tradition of Ayurveda, the ancient knowledge system of Indian medicine. Kalari Payattu is the native martial art form of Kerala. An art form for perfecting the physique, Kalari Payattu requires a training and dedication that is rigorous and unswerving. This art form, which has microscopically studied the human anatomy, has also developed a mode of herbal treatment. Kalari Chikilsa helps in providing flexibility and strength to the body, as also healing bodily sprains cuts and injuries. Monsoon is the best time to undergo this treatment. The art forms of Kerala demand the utmost dedication and training. These native art forms require complete control over each nerve of the body. As part of this training, the artist also undergoes the Ayurvedic therapies. Special herbal oils and medications are massaged on the body of the artist during the monsoon time to ensure muscle flexibility and dexterity of movement. The rigorous training required for perfecting these art forms needs to become not only a way of life, but the very passion and devotion of the artist. <laughs> 